Good morning, folks. It's true. I gave my usual punching bags the holidays off. NASA, climate scientists, the holiday is over. We've also got a legitimately concerning observation of Earth change, and while we watched the last 24 hours on our star, which was relatively silent apart from a filament collapse on the right side, we have the solar wind and earthquakes to mention before cutting deeper. Solar wind had one last intensification overnight. Nothing major, and we did take minor reverberations of that initial geomagnetic instability this morning. Seismically, we took two in the larger six magnitude range, Taiwan and Vanuatu, luckily both offshore and deep. Now we need to blast a message to NASA here. With helio viewer cadence reduced, the absurdity of using the slow ISWA product, SDO's data viewer page being down is an atrocity. Your 48 hour movies cut before the present day and it is very unacceptable. Here are the two people at NASA responsible for fixing this today. Let their emails not be devoid of our concern. Up next, climate science. We've got yet another way to look at the record cold in Antarctica. It is increasing both on the lead and the tail of winter. And this data doesn't even begin to touch the recent marks from this year, where those record cold marks were shattered once again. This one, I didn't think I'd ever see in the journals, the electric control of rain. The electric fields described here are greatly affected by the global electric circuit, geomagnetic conditions, and space weather, and this marks an explanation for about 15-20% to 20 of the solar terrestrial atmospheric control in the 500 papers cited in our textbook right now. The only place to get a hard copy is from Book Baby. They do have the university price, and shipping isn't cheap either. But there are also the PDF versions of our books at otf.cells.com, including the disaster text, which gets another notch added today, as the predicted global ozone losses have begun. Folks, this isn't the Arctic, this isn't Antarctica, this is the tropics, to the tune of potentially letting in vastly more UV over 50% of the atmosphere, 50% of the biosphere, and this is not only one of the predictions of the disaster unfolding, but it directly explains the warmer world, and the trends we saw before the previous geomagnetic disasters, where weather weirding and that heat were also present. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to those books are below the video. Website members, you got a half podcast yesterday and your planetary geometry deeper look for January. Four-way alignment coming up later this month. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.